one of my first experiences with uh, Dr. Harvey Hoffman was um, he walked up to the front of the class, slammed his hands down on the desk in front of me, and announced that he hated engineers. <laughs> it was basically about how they're too creative and they try to innovate too much and how that irritates him as a project manager. And then he understood that he was joking, of course, because he was an engineer himself. I go to work at A, you know, I usually have meetings in the mornings and um, during the afternoon I, you know, try to go and, and go to the lab or try to catch with my emails. So I pretty much run home. Uh, if I have any remaining assignments left to do, I get those finished up, cleaned up, uh, grab some food, head over to the course. I'm responsible for, for, for a lot of things, you know, there people work for me too, so, so um, yeah, I'm very, I'm a busy person, I guess. I chose Fairfield University because it offered the MOT program, which is the Management of Technology, and it's a degree that is a combination business and engineering core curriculum. I have a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering, and I always wanted to get my master's. The reason I went back to school because for I wanted to get more experience uh, with electrical. In the Jesuit mission, uh, we often cite the idea that people who graduate will be more well-rounded individuals. So when they come in to take an engineering course, they don't learn just about engineering in a vacuum. We had a course, a legal and ethical course, that we took with the MOT that uh, dealt a lot with the ethical implications of a lot of business decisions. I would say it's a market-driven program. It's a program that responds directly to the needs of the marketplace. Uh, there's a class I had designed for automation, which is very engineering oriented, which talked about working, integrating automation into manufacturing. I've had courses in leadership and in project management. Uh, image processing, computer graphics, uh, voice and signal processing, uh, enterprise Java. We have a one-to-one -one relationship with the professor, which is kind of hard when you go to big schools. In a small setting, you can ask a question immediately, and you don't have to raise your hands. It's a very informal setting. Uh, you professors, they get to know you by name. I learn a lot from the professors. You know, like I said, um, if, if I need some help, they always, the professor was always there to help me. I found the students in my class to be a resource. Uh, because um, I go to school with such a uh, uh, more experienced group of people, the knowledge that they bring to the table about industry far exceeds my own, and any time I get to work in a group environment with them, I find it extremely beneficial. Uh, you're interacting with great students, great faculty members. Uh, you have an environment that encourages you to experiment with different techniques for uh, educating people. It's location, it's the professors that they have here with all the real world experience that they've had. Uh, and the fact that they understand that you live outside of the academic world. It was very convenient for me to, you know, to leave work, you know, and just drive here and get, get uh, in class on time. They work with you and yet still challenge you in your degrees.